Welcome to Mathematics with Ams, Grade 9, Lesson 8, Financial Mathematics. Don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. VAT or VAT or Value Added Tax. When we purchase a product or receive services for something we have to pay, VAT in most countries in the world. Example, Molly has a contract for her landline telephone. She pays 122 rand, 45 cents for calls, and a monthly fee of 19 rand 90 for the use of the line. The VAT is 14%, is also added to her monthly bill. Calculate her total monthly bill. So total, calculate the cost of calls and service fee. So it is 122 and 44 plus the 19 and 19. That gives you 142 and 35 cents. Then you must find that what is 40% of that. So it's 14 over 100 times the 142,35, which is 19 rand 93 cents, which you now must add. And you get therefore a final total cost of 162 rand and 28 cents. Let's look at profit, loss and discount. Profit is when people buy and sell products for more than they bought them for. Loss is when people buy and sell products for less than they bought them for. Discount is when an amount is taken off the selling price. Cost price is before profit is added. So. Profit is therefore selling price minus cost price, and loss is cost price minus selling price. Example, a shopkeeper bought a tin of coffee for 35 rand and sold it for 50 rand. So did he make a profit or a loss? Well, he made a profit because 50 minus 35 is 15 rand profit. B, express the profit as a percentage of the cost price, corrected two decimal places, so 15 out of 35 times 100% gives you 42,86%. Let's look at budgets and accounts. A budget is a statement showing income and expenses. So there's gross income is the income earned before deductions are made. Net income is the income received after the deductions have been made. Most common deductions are tax like medical aid, pension fund, UIF, that is unemployment fund, etc. Net earnings is normally gross salary minus deductions. Example, Joan's net income is 9,000 per month. Let's look at her, so that's her net income. Her expenses are home loan, transport, electricity, medical aid, food, life insurance, clothing, and entertainment. So it all amounts to 9,150. So her income is 9,000, her expenses are 9,150. So is Joan living within her means? Well, the answer is no, because she owes 150 rand. So suggest a solution. Certain items are important, such as food, electricity, and transport. She could spend less on clothing, perhaps, and entertainment. What is commission? When employees earn commission, they earn a certain percentage of the value of their sales. And what are rentals? The amount of money you put, you pay for the use of a venue or equipment, like car rentals, for instance. Example, Jerome has a job selling clothing. He earns a commission of 19.5% on all weekly sales in excess, which means more than, of 5,000 rand. How much commission does he earn on sales of 4,800 and 10,450? So 4,800 is less than 5,000, so sales above 5,000. Jerome does not earn any commission because remember, he, his sales is less than 5,000. But sales over 5,000 will be 10,450 minus 5,000 gives you 5,450 times the 19,5 over 100. And that gives you an answer of 1,062 rand and 75 cents. Let's look at three examples. Mr. Tlamini rents out two of the bedrooms in his house to make extra money. He charges 
1750 per room per month. She has to pay a rental agency 6% per month as they found her the tenants. How much commission in rent is she paying the agency? Then a second example, Mary sells and buys burgers. She pays for one burger 6 rent and sells it for 9 rent. How much profit does she make and what is her percentage profit? Thirdly, Penny is a teacher. Her gross income is 20,000 rand per month. Her deductions are income tax, 2,681.63 cents, medical aid, 1,800, UIF, 124.78 cents, pension fund, 1,200. Draw up a budget for her, calculate her net income. Is she living above or below her means? Let's look at the solution of the first one. So Mr. Lamini rents out two of the bedrooms in his house to make extra money. So let's see. So the rental company is 6% of 1,750, which of course is 105 rent. Then commission for the two rooms is two times 105, which is 210, 10. Right, there you are. Number two, Mary sells and buys burgers. She pays for one burger, six rent and sells for 9 rand. So what is her profit? Selling price minus cost price, so therefore 3 rand. What is her percentage profit? We are profit over cost price, so it is 3 over 6 times 100, which is 50%. Penny is a teacher, her gross income, so you must draw up a budget for her. Right, so there is Penny's budget, her gross income, her gross income is 20,000, there's her, all her expenses, the total is then 5,806.41 cents, so that is her net income, so net income will, so that's her gross income and expenditure, so net income will be the 20,000 minus the 5,806 and 41 cents. So her net income is therefore 14,193 rand and 59 cents. Is she living above or below her means? Well, she's definitely living below her means because her expenditure is less than her income. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, lesson on finances. This is uh, Ahmed Suleiman. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe.